Welcome to Bad Box Art, where we take vintage video game boxes, remove the titles, show it to people who have never seen it before, and make them guess the game's plot. Okay. Oh, man. Huh. This is very 80s. Look how cheesy this dude is dressed. Straight up, thumbs up. If I saw someone like that now, I'd be like, ooh. We got like a virtual reality Tron looking world. There's a robot. With a blaster instead of legs. A shark that's driving a freaking submarine. Don't do drugs because this is what'll happen, kids. Robots and, and sharks that don't need water to swim. Rocco is a rocking bad kid and he decides to go to the arcade one day because he's too cool to hang out with anybody else. Best video game player in his local arcade. And he's battling all these kids. It's one of the kids like, yeah, you might be good at Street Fighter, but are you good at this game? Maybe he stumbles into something that he shouldn't have. And he's like, listen, all right, if you could beat me at my own game, then you get to rule over the world of the video game. And Rocco's like, I'll take you on. And they both put in their quarters, and then whoa, all this stuff happens, and they get sucked in through the arcade screen. They always used to use that premise for crap. He's in super colorful Tron land. Maybe the spider is his friend. This giant shark is boss, and the robot is boss. Oh, I think he has his little spider buddy give him like a venomized floppy disk, and he throws it, and the cyborg falls over, and he's like, you've destroyed me, I'm sorry. You must be confused, my child. Of course, he has a very heavenly voice. You are the long lost awesome prince who got taken away as a baby. So I have to bring you back now. Grab onto my hands because I don't have any legs and I'll fly you there. And he opens up a vortex and like flies him through. Radical. Where, where are we going next, dude? We might have to fight a shark. Just be ready for it. He's got to fight a shark that doesn't need water to swim. And also he has to fight, you know, the G-men. You know, soldiers will show up and they'll be like, you're just a kid, we could stop you. And Terry's like, yeah, right. And then he like runs down a hallway and then like throw some marbles down it. And then they're like, dude, the thing was like, whoa. And they like flip on the marbles. And he's like, hey, nice trip. See you next fall. The final boss of the game. King Awesome. King Awesome would be like half Arnold Schwarzenegger body, other half cyborg. Half computer, half man. And you have to fight him. That's the final boss. But then when he beats King Awesome, King Awesome's like a nerd the whole time. Maybe he needs this journey to knock him down a notch. I had to leave regular world because I was a nobody. But here in Awesome World, I became their king. He's only 15. He's just a boy, you know? And he can't handle this. Kid Kid's like, listen, buddy. I promised you the world inside the arcade machine, and now I have to give it to you. And then Awesome Kid is just like, only if we can rule side by side as the baddest dudes around. And then they high five. A fun romp with lessons learned and journeys had. <laughs> How I would imagine the gameplay style. So I'm guessing this is a side-scroller. side scroll -y. And I will bet money that there's a surfing level. Tubular Terry and the Radical Raid. Awesome kid in awesome world. Treasure Master! The ultimate competition for fantasy prizes. Is this so they're not real? You're competing for imaginary prizes. Is it a reality show? Wow, so these are all just prizes. These aren't characters or anything. Okay, yeah, let's let's see some gameplay. Let's see how close I was. <laughs> Come on, yo, no! Oh God, this game looks horrible. It definitely does not look how I expected it to look. This is so much worse than I could have ever thought. He's not even wearing the clothes that he was wearing. He's wearing like like a onesie. This looks nothing like the cover art. I expected the sharks to be a little more dangerous looking. Dude, look at the way he jumps. But it's funny because I feel like the pattern here is that the artwork is elevating expectations. And then you see the actual gameplay and you're like, that's a potato. Jesus, we used to buy this stuff. No, that's so much worse. Did you see the way the dude walked? <laughs> His hat was like, it's all tipped all the way up. Like what for? Like it's, there's no reason for that. <laughs>